Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful layouts from start to finish with easy to follow guides. So I thought I might just pop on here today and show you something that I completed a few weeks ago. So I think that everybody, it's no um, secret that I really enjoy album retreat. And there's a lot of reasons that I enjoy it. But for me, it pushes me in a different direction, maybe makes me um, think about products in a different way so then I can incorporate them in other things that I use, right? So in um, other workshops that I do, classes that I teach, all those kind of things. So I thought it might be fun just for me to do a little bit of a walkthrough of the pages from this um, album retreat. It was in October. Uh, it was like two weekends ago. And I have almost all of the pages completed except for one. And there was a little snafu with that one. So it might be a little while yet. So um, here we go. I'm going to push you down on my desk. I think I've got my cameras backwards today for some reason. Yeah. So let's swap the cameras. Sorry. And now I'll put you down big on top of my desk. Okay. So here we go. I just got to pull you up in front so I can actually see if there's anything happening. But so there was a theme to, um, I seem to have super bad shadow there. Let's see if I turn on another light if I can fix that a little bit. We're not even like in the darkest um, days of winter yet. And uh, it seems a little dark in my office this afternoon. Um, okay, so there was a theme. They always pick a theme for album retreat. And then the album is designed around a theme. Um, I think technically, good morning. Um, I think technically the theme of the album was um, inspiration. So they showed here, so let me turn this a little bit so I can actually see myself. So there was an inspiration for each layout that came from a completely different spot. And I'll say that actually happens for me a ton, whether it's like a color combination that you see somewhere or um, a magazine ad or um, so many things, places, um, trends like in a store. Um, there's so many ways to gather inspiration. So for this album retreat, they showed where they got the inspiration and then we created the pages. So I thought it might just be fun to do, like I said, a quick walkthrough and show you some of the pages. And you never know, you might see some of these things coming up in classes or um, workshop ideas later. But this one, the so the title is Life is so amazing and this is totally fun this is totally i loved this one because it's all kind of like bright colors a fun color combination like the sapphire the papaya lagoon um, wild berry and then we played with distress oxide inks which i love i love playing with distress oxide inks but it was neat because it was a combination of regular inks and distress oxides. So I think that lots of times it's important to remember just because you're playing with regular inks doesn't mean you can't throw in something fun like a technique from with uh, distress oxides. So obviously we play with a template. This is all um, vellum. So tons of fun. I love this new um, thin cut. The um, buildable tags thing cut. I was actually playing with it this morning. So um, yeah, tons of fun. So a couple of my favorites are on here. So this one for sure. And then the um, tabs thing cut. I think they're just like a great generic um, thing cut to have. So then the next, so we did lots of, like I said, um, distress oxides in the background. 
we colored all the bling like between the sparkles and the white gems we colored the white um, acrylic titles that were specifically designed for this workshop so we just colored those with tri-blend markers so that was layout number one and like i said i am short one layout because there was a little snafu with that one but that's okay and um so this one the title is just smile and the little wood shapes made up the title there's the tabs thin cut on this one we did some more um work with the stencils and just regular ink right this is just the lagoon ink on here um there is tons of cardstock colors and then the smarty pants paper made up the other portion of album retreat so they kind of try and play with like a paper pack and then mix in cardstocks to kind of um oomph it up a little bit lots of times though you'll find just things just done with cardstock then there's always a fun stamp set that is part of album retreat so typically it's got so it, this icon here with the little pinwheel or pie chart or however you want to look at it depending on how you look at it um was part of that stamp set so was this little um half circle half oval really because it's not a circle that kind of looks like a gumdrop that was part of the stamp set quite often there's a title in the um stamp set we got an alpha which was fun um i love this one this one's nice and bright and i'm all about hexagons it's one of my favorite shapes to design with too because of the way they interlock with each other so this is a piece from i'm just thinking it is from yeah the um wedding paper like the wedding themed paper and this is just the black and white version right and so played up with lots of bright colors love this combination also the colors with the evergreen the green apple the lagoon this is mint and then the black and white right so lots of fun there that was a fun one and then i love this one the title was made of magic and then we did this fun little design on the bottom i'm all about shapes and fitting them together and that's probably why i like the hexagon so much right so these are just simple squares but it made a great um, layout so again this is glacier and then uh, sapphire and bluebird and then it's got um the oranges and the yellows in here too which was kind of fun right it plays up this zip strip that runs down the middle with all the colors in it right so from this zip strip you could pull in all the colors into other parts of the layout so that was fun and this little airplane paper that's from the smarty pants so it's totally not a school themed album at all but that is the main paper pack that was used for it so this is, was a fun one you are gold and then we made our own um, paper this is obviously just a piece of white daisy and there was the little circular stamp in the stamp set so don't ever forget about making your own paper even if it's just with a simple shape right you have lots of st not even just like random stamping your background but this is obviously very purposefully added to the background in a repetitive pattern that makes it look like paper but it's not right so you all have like little stamps in your stamp sets that are um, circles or uh, diamond shapes or something fun like that you could even do it like this was another one of the steps from that there. there it's a the plus sign or an x depending on how you turn it but you could have totally made the background paper on this side with this stamp set also right and just really fun playing up the colors on um, both sides right everything that's on this side is repeated over on this side to bring everything together and that's um, on Capri, which is 
really pretty blue. Okay, so this is, so this is one of my favorite pieces of paper from that Smarty Pants pack. It's like the composition layout um, piece of paper. And then there's like mink and mint, and then this is the mocha. And then in here too is the capri, and then it's all stamped with sapphire. So a super fun color combination. Sorry, one second. I've been talking a lot for the last week and a half. Cool. I was just doing some recording earlier, so my I should, probably should have had a bigger glass of water. And then um, again, right here. Yes, they're all, and they were all so different. I think that that's the fun part. And things that probably I would never do on my own, but it comes to you all, right? Mostly pre cut. You just need to do your stamping, your um, fussy cutting. If there's fussy cutting, there's typically a little bit of thin cutting. I'm not really sure that's a verb, but we're going to go with it. This um, album retreat was the um, littlest amount of prep time I remember in a long time. So there was 27 minutes of like prep time beforehand, but um, it was fun. So here's the buildable tag, right? This, I love this stamp, our uh, thin cut. Um, like I said, I was playing with it earlier and you might see something later this week. Like, look how pretty this flower is, right, with the wild berry. I loved the incorporation of wild berry, which is the color of the year, in here in so many different ways with different color combinations, right? So, then, this this was one of my favorites. I have, there was a little accident with my title. There's supposed to be a white acrylic piece here that says sunshine, but um, mine came cracked beyond, beyond repair, we'll just say that. So I just swapped it out for some of the wood letters, which was fun, but super fun color blocking and maybe not a combination that I would normally put together, right? So. That is also one of those fun things I love about Album Retreat, right? Just looking at something in a different way, something I don't have to design, and I just get to put it together. And now you'll see, this is about the third, for sure the third, if not the fourth layout with this pinwheel stamp set on it. So you do get a lot of use out of the stamp set that you get in your Album Retreat. They typically do sell it after. I actually can't remember if they said if they're going to sell this one or not. I'll have to look. If I find it, I'll add it into um, the comments below. So this super cute little camera was on that stamp set too. So, and then I have one more here, which I loved. So I have, a. this is 11 of the pages. Like I said, there was... A problem with my last one so I didn't I don't have it here um, I need to just figure out how I'm gonna fix it but there's always a way to fix it so this was lots of fun I really like this again I really am a fan of like when you color block something right I love like graphic images so again this is the smarty pants paper it's that one with the um all the images on it the little globe is in there and then these plants and then i think there's a word that says like best teacher ever or something so we just cut out the pieces they're perfect to add in little spots right and then there's a flip flap here which you all know i love flip flaps so and then this was super fun layout i really like doing this one um, with the crinkling of the paper to make the mountains look more rustic, the trees, there's a little tree stamp set. And again, right, the color blocking, um, gradient, ombre look. I do that a lot, so you had to know I was going to like that one. Um, there was a doodle stamp set, or doodle stamp in the stamp set. But I picked out the, like one of the new Le, color, Le Pen colors that matched 
the layout and did that instead. I want it to be more like um, hand doodling on there. And so this title's Into the Winter, Into the Wild. Not Into the Winter yet, I'm not ready. Um, and we just stamped that on the circle. So really all I wanted to show you was kind of, I realized normally I share them kind of as we go and um, we had a lot on the plate here. <laughs> The weekend of album retreat so I did not share them as I went so I thought I would just come back on quickly and do a, a walk through of all my layouts and now from here I will add my photos and it is meant to be like a standalone album so you can run with the theme all the way through the album or you can mix and match them in your album so i am a mixer and a matcher i don't typically take the album retreat layouts and leave them in an album i'll add my photos and then mix them in my layouts that's why i thought i better show them before they all get dispersed into the different places that they need to go so if you guys ever have any questions about album retreat, please feel free to ask. Like I said, um, it's one thing that uh, I have participated in in person at head office and then I think twice now and then um, virtually since it's been a virtual event. But like I said, I just thought I would come in and do a quick walkthrough before I started putting them all away and there will be another album retreat I do believe it's in January let me see if I can see the date really quickly mm -hmm. I was supposed to look I was gonna look before and see if it was on here January 19th to the 21st which I do believe means that they will start probably um, selling the pre-cut kits probably in December if I've got my timing right there. So like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. But for anybody that kind of wants to uh, push themselves in a slightly different direction, it's always a lot of fun. And I will say too that, so I know it's completely different when you see the pages, for example, as the photograph on my shopping website or whatever, that in a person, they're way better. And it's hard to kind of explain that or show that until you experience it. But like I said, if you ever wanted to push yourself artistically in a different direction, this is a fun way to do it. So uh, I will be doing it again in January. And so hopefully maybe some of you will join me. So we'll talk to you later, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.